This is a different kind of quiz. Should I quit my job? These 11 questions will help you answer this extremely hard question. Welcome everyone. My name is Johan Peterson and I'm a senior director in the video games industry. A number of recent studies are pointing to that 40% of the workers in the US and the UK are considering a job change. This is according to big recent studies by Microsoft and Personio. I'll leave a couple of links to the studies down in the description. 40% though, that's an extremely high number. If you are part of this statistic, mulling over whether to leave your job or not. This video covers 11 questions that you should consider before you resign. I have taken a few major steps like this in my life. These 11 questions always help me make a better decision. I suggest you pause the video right here, grab a pen and a paper. They will come in handy when we dive into the quiz. And while you're at it, please leave a like. It's free, takes a second, but it really helps me. First and foremost, there are some conditions where you should absolutely leave your job immediately. And that is if you're working in an environment that is affecting your health negatively. Then the time to leave is now. And that means if you're not financially stable enough, you need to find a solution. Maybe move in with your parents for a while. Health is always more important than anything else. Be brutally honest with yourself though. Is work really affecting your health? Or are you just frustrated? It could also be something else in your life that needs a change. So again, be brutally honest with yourself. You might also have toxic co-workers or a toxic boss, which is never fun to have. If that's your situation, first and foremost, I'm really sorry to hear that. I will also leave a link in the description to a video with some steps to try and make things better. If nothing helps though, just leave before it starts affecting your health. Before you embark on change or decide on change, it's really good to reflect over your journey so far. Assuming you've made some similar change in the past and it went well, can help put things in perspective. Also reflect over times in your life when you made some big change and what drove you to make that change. Given we're mid-pandemic, it's good to dig a bit to understand if how you're feeling is pandemic related or not. Because if it is, changing jobs will probably not help you. So think about if any other change can make things better. What makes you happy? Try to understand what it is about those things that makes you happy. Are there any ingredients of that in your current job? Could there be in the new role that you might be pursuing? What needs to change from the role you are in now to the role you might be pursuing? When you consider new paths, make sure that you don't quit and then fall back into a similar place with the same problems. Do the employer really need to change or could your current employer potentially offer you something that would tick more boxes. Just make sure you really consider any potential options with your current employer before you quit. That will definitely help you make a better decision. Can you do your job now while living up to your personal values? If not, you should definitely start looking for something new. No question about it. What would you give up and what would you gain by quitting? Make two lists. Start with the things that you would give up by quitting. Stability, benefits, routine, comforts, liberties. Then make another list with the things you would gain by quitting. Increased market value, salary bump, shorter commute, more freedom, more time for family or hobbies, or finally the room to start that business on the side. Are your expectations and ambitions realistic? Do you feel your efforts can match the ambition you have? Switching jobs can initially be extremely draining and you need to be prepared to put in the effort it takes to match your ambition. Does it make financial sense for you to quit right now? Can you support yourself until you land a new job? Or should you make sure you have one lined up first? Otherwise, it's a great idea to wait until you have another job lined up or until you've saved enough money that can last you for a while. Most interview processes are longer now than pre-pandemic. So make sure you have a solid buffer of three to six months if you don't have another job lined up. If you're leaving your job to start your own business on the other hand, it's really good to have at least 12 months of buffer. Speaking of interviews, interviewing over video calls is a skill in itself. 
So it might be a good idea to have a few practice interviews before you apply for that job that you really, really want. Should you hold off any change until you're back in the office? Now is actually a really good time. Job hunting is easier when working from home. And remember that no one really knows how long we will be working remotely. So don't let that stop you from quitting your job. Is now the right time? There might never be a time when the stars align and everything is perfect for you to quit your job. Sometimes you just have to take a step into the unknown to make a better future for yourself. Something I always ask myself is, what would the 70 year old me want me to do in this situation? And what would make him proud? And I promise you, as soon as you take that step, it will feel extremely liberating for you. I release videos every Tuesday, so check back next week. Thank you so much for watching.